Home buyer rescission period, what is it and how is it going to affect you in 2023? Welcome back, my name is JP Letnick and I am going to be going over a summary of what the home buyer rescission period is and what it details. And this is really something that is more political than anything else. This came down the line from the government uh, in a way to try and cool off the market, which was very hot over the course of 2020, 2021 during COVID for residential real estate in BC. Now, as we are currently sitting, the market has already cooled off. It's been cooled off for almost six months and that's because of the interest rate hikes. So this is coming a little bit too late uh, which we'll see how it affects the market. But in essence, what this does is for most residential properties, and you will need to take a look at what kind of zoning and use the property is having in order to determine whether or not this would be applicable. And if you have questions whether or not it is, then you may want to suggest your clients or yourself to go look at a lawyer to get a little bit more clarity on whether a property may fall under this rescission period. But for the general, uh, information this is going to fall under BC's residential homes so if someone is being living in a property that is residential and is using it for residential use then it, this will most likely apply the residential um, home buyer rescission period starts January 3rd 2023 and it is a three business day period so let's say for example you have an unconditional offer and it comes in on a Monday great as long as there's no holidays then it would start the next business day, so the Tuesday, and then the Wednesday, and then the Thursday till midnight. And those three days is how long the buyer has at, for any reason, doesn't even need a reason, they can kill the deal because maybe they just decided they didn't want to buy the house. For doing that, they will be paying a fee 0.25% of the accepted purchase price, which comes to about $250 for every $100,000 on the accepted offer. So that's the cost. And what happens is in BC, because we usually don't take a deposit at acceptance, we usually take a deposit after subjects are removed, this will become a very difficult thing to navigate uh, because we as licensees won't be holding money on behalf of a buyer to pay a seller unless a deposit has been paid. So what is going to have to happen if the buyers leave and there's no deposit, the sellers are going to have to take legal action against the buyers and it's going to get messy. So this may just not happen because the cost of going through litigation is going to most likely outweigh the cost benefit of going after someone for not you know, going forward with the deal. If you are having a subject time right here, if your client has included a subject clause in their contract, you must advise them that the subject removal period runs in conjunction with the rescission period. So what this means is don't wait to start doing your home inspection or getting your financing done until after the three days. The three days and your subjects run at the same time. So you're going to have the three days counting down on your subjects while your subjects are running at the same time. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, but yeah, basically there are also more disclosures for agents to have to make to both buyer and seller clients. These are new things that are coming implemented on January 3rd. If you have any questions about these specific uh, regulations, the new home buyer rescission period, then please feel free to reach out to us and we'll happily try to help you navigate through this change in the market. If you like this video and you thought it was helpful or informative, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below so we know how to interact with you and what kind of videos you'd like to see moving forward. Thank you again, my name is JP and I'll see you on the next video.